Okay. Okay, so when do we fix a mallet, a mallet finger? And a majority of these are treated without surgery. But there are several indications for surgery for, for mallet fingers. The first is an open mallet, mallet finger. So if you cut the back of the finger and you cut through the terminal tendon, um, those are treated with surgery. Okay, so that may be a soft tissue mallet, um, and that's really the only indication of a soft tissue mallet that we treat with surgery. As far as bony mallets, which ones we treat with surgery, there are, there are a couple indications. One, if the bony fragment is very large, greater than 30% of the articular surface, so if it's greater than 30% of the articular surface, where there's a chance of some post-traumatic arthritis occurring within the joint, then oftentimes we'll fix that with surgery. Um, different surgical techniques are to do just a simple pinning, where you stick one pin down the middle of the finger, okay, and another pin spearing that fragment and hold it. Those are called K-wires or Kirshner wires, and you reduce that fragment in an in a anatomic position. Another way is with small little screws. We can put little screws in this piece. If the piece is big enough, we can put little screws that go across the piece to hold it. Oftentimes we have to supplement that with one K-wire for a few weeks until it heals enough to support with just that one screw. Another indication for surgery is if the distal phalanx subluxate palmarly. Okay, so this is a representation of that. If you draw a line on the back of the, or the dorsum of the middle phalanx, it should line up with the base of the distal phalanx. So when you draw a line on the dorsum of the distal or the middle phalanx here, and you follow it all the way across, you can see that the distal phalanx is palmar to that line, which means the joint has now subluxated palmarly, and you see the bony fragment here, and that's another indication to reduce the, the distal phalanx and then pin it so that it heals in an anatomic position.